Rexton Ralston Fernando Gordon was born and raised in a Caribbean ghetto, but he knew his passion for music and desire to live the life of his dreams would help him escape. He was popularly known with the stage name Shaba Ranks. Shaba was born in Sturge Town, St. Anne Parish, Jamaica. His parents moved to Kingston in pursuit of better opportunities when he was eight years old. One day, something he said during an interview destroyed everything he had worked for and left his future uncertain. Keep watching this video to find out here. Shaba discovered his love for music at a young age and worked hard to improve his skills. When he was in his early teens, he had a life-changing experience that would shape his future. His brother-in-law invited him to work as a bottle collector during an event featuring up-and-coming artist Josie Wales. Instead of doing his job, Shaba found himself glued to the stage watching Josie perform. He was overtaken by the magic of music and soon devoted himself entirely to the pursuit of his own career. Unfortunately, he got kicked out of high school for being a troublemaker. However, this gave him more time to focus on his music. Many years later, Shaba said that he had never anticipated living past the age of 18 due to the mark that was applied to him while he was a young child in the ghetto. As his career progressed, he genuinely experienced visions of his own demise and nightmares about being imprisoned which for some of his friends even materialized. He made it a point to communicate with the younger generation, especially those who were reared in similar environments to his own, and to let them know that they are greater than the meager value that others choose to accord them. Josie Wales and others could also see that Shaba had a different mindset than many of his friends. One day, Josie came across Shaba. He was pulled aside and given some advice about the company he was keeping by hanging out with his friends. He extended an invitation to Shaba to visit the recording studio the next day. Shaba was very excited to get the chance to record in a studio for the first time. He didn't sleep at all the night before out of excitement. The studio ended up being one of the biggest and most popular recording studios in the country. Someone who believed in Shaba's talent recommended him to super producer King Jammy. King Jammy decided to give Shaba a chance and offered him a job as a DJ when he was only 16 years old. His original stage name was Copilot, and it was under this name that he released his first single, Heat Under Sufferer's Feet, in 1985. Soon after, he changed his name to Shaba Ranks. Shaba's debut album, which featured him rapping with female collaborators, was released in 1988 on a small independent label out of Queens, New York. He released several more songs on the same label over the next few years. Still, it was one particular song, Them Bo, off his second album titled Just Reality, that would provide the foundation for a future popular music style. The rhythm on the track became the defining characteristic of Puerto Rican reggaeton, which was referred to as dimbo at the time. Shaba's ladies' man image, complete with signature Gumby haircut, flowing suits, manicured eyebrows, and gold jewelry, made him a standout from a visual standpoint. But his deep vocals, trendy rhythms, and catchy hooks led to a major label deal with Epic Records in the U.S., his first project for his new label would be 1991's As Raw As Ever, which was his first album to be well received by critics and contain the hit singles Trailer Load of Girls and House Call, which featured British Jamaican reggae artist Maxi Priest. Shaba Ranks won his first Grammy in 1992 for Best Reggae Album. The next year, he released another successful album that won him another Grammy. The album Extra Naked contained the popular songs Tingling, Slow and Sexy, featuring American R&B singer Johnny Gill and the R&B fusion smash Mr. Loverman. Shabarang's cover of Deborah Glasgow's Champion Lover became his biggest hit outside of Jamaica. The original version of the song appeared on Glasgow's debut album, but Shaba decided to re-record it with Chevelle Franklin as the featured singer. Sadly, 
Deborah passed away at the age of 29 after a battle with lymphoma. In December of that same year, Shaba experienced a major low in his career. He did an interview on British TV network Channel 4 music show, The Word, that many people believe derailed his career and changed dance hall forever. He was asked about his beliefs on the subject of the hit song, Boom Bye Bye, by fellow Jamaican dance hall artist, Buju Bantan. The song had already stirred up a lot of controversy and was labeled as a hate song by the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, or GLAD. Co-signing Buju Bantan's statement in the song, which was that anyone who goes against the word of God deserves crucifixion. He added that he lives by the concept of the good book, which states that man should multiply, done by a male and female. He was condemned by presenter Mark Lamar for his comments, which caused outrage around the world. The fallout was swift and brutal, and he was dropped from a Bobby Brown tour. In the UK, the reaction to his comments was harsh. The next year, he could not perform at a festival due to media reports of the police calling him a troublemaker. A few months later, Shaba released a statement. In retrospect, I now realize that the comments were a mistake because they advocated violence towards gay men and lesbians. I regret having made such statements. I do not approve of any act of violence against gay men and lesbians or any other human beings. Gay bashing is wrong. The fallout from the Shaba incident wasn't just limited to that one genre of music. Many artists who performed dancehall music had their shows canceled and were dropped from their labels. This had a ripple effect throughout the entire music industry. Visas and work permits were also canceled or not granted. Promoters weren't interested in working with certain artists unless there was a signed agreement barring them from performing certain songs. Not surprisingly, his next couple of albums only received average reviews, and the following year, Shaba was dropped from his label. Now seemed as good a time as any to take an indefinite hiatus. After spending time with his family, Shaba eventually moved from Jamaica to the United States. He felt ready to take on the music world again after his children were older and released a comeback single, None of Them, in April 2011. Shaba and his wife Michelle, whom he married in 1992, share two sons and continue to reside in New York City. In an interview with Jamaican Entertainment News and Current Affairs Channel on stage in 2012, Shaba spoke fondly of his relationship with his wife and sons. Host Winford Williams even commented how unusual it was for a dance hall artist to have maintained a long-term marriage and had all his children with only one woman. Shaba praised his parents for their parenting and how it shaped him. He grew up observing his father come home every night to his mother and saw the love between them. This made him want to have a similar relationship with his own family. Shaba returned to his home country of Jamaica after a decade away to participate in Sumfest, the largest musical festival in Jamaica and the Caribbean. Shaba has been very vocal about his disappointment with the evolution of Jamaican dancehall music, and he is well aware of how cutthroat and competitive the industry has become. He has also touched on why, despite urging from his fans, he hasn't released much music over the years. He has stated that he cannot just release records for free. In 2013, the American TV channel BET asked Shaba to be part of their reggae and dancehall tribute that was scheduled to be included in their awards show taking place that summer. Other artists such as Don Penn, Shaka Dimas, Pliers, Beanie Man, and Elephant Man made the trip to LA to bring the house down. Shaba was not at the event. He later said he had another engagement but still inquired about how the event would be organized. He decided not to perform after being told that he would have to share the stage with four or five other people at once and also not get the opportunity to walk the red carpet. Shaba has always felt it was important for Dance Hall to be accurately represented, something he feels BET is no longer doing. 
Shaba also accused BET of only representing dance hall when it's convenient for them. Jamaican dance hall artist Patra chose not to participate in the show for similar reasons. Shaba has said that his only regret is trusting people who he thought had his back, but ended up betraying him. Shaba continues to write and record even if no one else hears it, and his worldwide influence is undeniable. He has always expressed love to those who have shown him love throughout his career, including American hip hop artists like ASAP Ferg for his 2013 track featuring ASAP Rocky, appropriately titled Shaba. He also made a cameo in the music video. Shaba has also received numerous honors, including the Order of Distinction in 2016, presented at the Governor General's House in Kingston for his contribution to music. In 2021, he received the Heritage Award recognizing outstanding and dedicated service by individuals and businesses to the Jamaican community from the Consulate General of Jamaica in New York City. Shaba's mother passed away earlier this year at the age of 81. In a heartfelt speech at her graveside, Shaba spoke of how his mother taught him to love God and strive to survive. She was also the one who encouraged him to continue pursuing music when everyone else was telling him he would never make it. Shaba concluded by mentioning how his love for his mother set a precedent for him to love his wife. He said, my mother is my first girlfriend, so she taught me how to love my wife. People, I love you. God bless you all. Thank you for being so supportive. Thanks for watching. I would really appreciate it if you could like, share, and comment on the video. Also, please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time.